So now in this video, we're going to look at using a PNP bipolar junction transistor as a switch. So since this is a PNP bipolar junction transistor circuit, I assume you already understand the NPN. And uh, usually people study the NPN before the PNP. But in any case, it's pretty straightforward. A small uh, base current will control a larger uh, collector to emitter current. So that's base to emitter, collector to emitter. Without any current flow along uh, this path here, there's no current flow along here. So the load, in this case, our LED depends on a little bit of base current to get the uh, collector current going. So to begin with, for demonstration, this is a 10,000 ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm resistor. I'm going to put it to the rail there. And if I don't cover it with my hand, you might not even be able to tell the LED is glowing. We got very low current here thanks to this 10 kilo ohm resistor. We're gonna use five volts, by the way, in this circuit, but you adjust the components uh, accordingly. Now, we have the uh, switch already to ground up here. So uh, let's zoom in and look at this part of the circuit here. So we're gonna use the PNP bipolar junction transistor. This is the 2N3906 and the uh, pin layout is emitter to the left there, base to the middle, and collector to the right. I want the emitter higher up on the board than the other pin, so I'm just going to rotate it like that. So now we got emitter, base, collector, and we're going to plug that in uh, right here. So the emitter is going to where that orange jumper is, right there. So you can see the uh, top pin. Now we got the switch. We're going to put that 10 kilo ohm resistor to the base. Pretty straightforward, right there. I'll zoom back a little bit. So the uh, base, or uh, one side of the switch to the uh, base, right there, middle pin. Now we got the collector down below. So that's usually how you'll see the uh, PMP bipolar junction transistor schematic, where the emitter is on top, because usually for the schematic, the uh, positive side of the supply is on top, and uh, ground or the more negative side is on the uh, more bottom side. So now what we're going to do is grab the protective resistor for the LED. So this is our load. So it's important here. So there you can see on the schematic we got the other side of the switch to ground. So the uh, load we're going to work with 5 volts. So 220 ohms is a decent resistor for protecting an LED from 5 volts. You don't want to go a whole lot lower than that, but you can go lower. So, got the LED to the collector. There you can see the uh, bottom pin of the transistor. And now the, uh, the resistor is to the collector. Now we got the LED long lead the anode. That goes more positive. Short lead the cathode to the negative rail. If you put it in backwards, it just won't light up. 5 volts will not damage it. So, not end of the world. If it's not lighting up though, when you're sure you wired it properly, maybe the LED is backwards. So that's it. We have our uh, circuit right here. And I'll show that we got uh, 5 volts from the supply. It is on now, but the LED is off until I press the button. So now we have a small current traveling base to emitter. So usually you follow current more positive coming to the emitter, the base, the resistor, and the switch when the switch is closed. Also, I can falsely trigger this a bit with uh, my finger right there. It's picking up signals. I'm providing a little electricity to it. And since it's an amplifier, it's amplifying that to the LED. So it's not very bright. I'm not giving it much electricity. There you can see, even though this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor and it's not providing much, it's providing a lot more than I did. So it's no current from base to emitter, no current from uh, collector to emitter. And then just a very small current from base to emitter allows a lot more collector to emitter current, which the LED is part of. It's in series. That's the basics of a transistor switch. Pretty straightforward uh, for a bipolar junction transistor uh, switch. Other transistors work on other properties. So this is just a quick build. I'm going to end it there. There's a lot more to learn about transistors and uh, whatnot. But uh, just doing these circuits, looking how they work really quickly, helps you in understanding how the transistor works. So check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell. I will see you in the next one.